it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another vegan nugget. Since I'm boarding a plane to Ireland the day after tomorrow to deliver a speech in Dublin, I am in serious crunch time mode, evidenced by the near ghost town of my social media platforms. Actually, it's not much of a change for my Twitter, really. Anyways, I thought I would show you around my local farmer's market since I rarely do the vloggish style of videos outside of my Patreon page, and it seems speech-induced crunch time. This market has some really beautiful local produce, and like most markets and community agriculture movements, some wholesome, homegrown local cruelty. So let's look around. This farm always has a wide selection, and this week they even have melons. One of my long-term goals is to grow all of my own food. Taking our food back into our own hands has power on so many levels, not just financially. And profoundly lower our environmental impact, increase the nutrient content of our produce, and help us reconnect with our food. These are local grown apples and they'll juice them right on the spot. So this is pretty cool. This gentleman makes soap with the mushrooms he grows. It's totally vegan and the sign was so fantastic that I had to get a bar. And some tasty tomatoes. I just love eating these like snack food. Well, they are snack food. This stall always has vegan options. They have chocolate vegan cookies too, but I was not about to violate people's personal space with my vlogging. Is that like vlog salt? Vlogalation? Anyways. This booth has made-to-order pizzas, and I've never really given it a look before, but they have fully vegan options with Daya cheese and even vegan pesto. So I figured I'd see what it's like. While we're waiting, this is my order from the co-op today. A big box of grapes. You can check out my car-free grocery haul to see more of how I make things work with a bike and buy produce in bulk to save money. But no farmer's market is complete without some delightfully charming euphemisms. This is the second town I've lived in that has a relatively strong interest in where their food comes from and making sustainable, responsible choices. Unfortunately, by and large, I find that in undertaking this journey, which is commendable, most people stall out after entering the warm embrace of the humane myth. These concepts of pasture-raised, grass-fed, local, organic, happy animals provide us the perfect solution to any unrest about our actions. It's kind of the holy grail of human hypocrisy. We get to keep eating exactly what and whom we want but without the guilt. Possibly even with some pride in our conscientious, ethical, earth-friendly choices. And I'm not trying to be the vegan wet blanket, in which I kind of am. But if we really want to be responsible with our choices, we have to fully inform ourselves. And it is much harder understanding the exploitation inherent in these friendly booths than in an undercover video from a factory farm. Which is why it's so vital to educate about the humane myth. I've included some videos in the description to get you started. But let's pull out of this vegan buzzkill spiral and check out some pizza. If you didn't already leave, that is. Oh, and I took the opportunity to drop back by for a vegan cookie shot. There you go. Alright, so we've got diet cheese, onion, sweet corn, marinara, and pesto. I think I just won blogging. Alright. Well, I'm going to get back to some serious speech work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you so much for your patience with my near total retreat from society during this push. I always want to be as effective as I can with my speeches, especially when I'm given such incredible opportunities to educate. You can check out the rest of my speeches so far linked in the sidebar and below. By the way, the extremism speech, both the censored version and the repost, have made it over 100,000 views. Thank you so much to all of you who have watched and shared to get that information out. If you like this kind of informalness, you can always join us in the Nugget Army to help support ongoing free education. And see the description for video resources about the humane myth, growing your own food, and help finding fresh produce in your area. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support through this journey. Please keep sharing the videos around to help others find free vegan info. Now go live vegan, and I'll see you in Dublin, or England, or here on YouTube, and maybe one day, Twitter. <laughs>